Hello, good evening. Um, I'm Kelly Audia. I'm an art teacher from Greensburg Salem High School. And um, I was the project that, that I became involved in in the very beginning when Katie came to us and said, you know, here's this idea. We would like to create, you know, projects involve technology, involve art. Um, this sparked an idea of, of creating journals. And um, this wasn't an original idea. Um, most artists now, you know, no idea is completely original. It came from um, something that I always share with my students because we use sketchbooks in class and journals in class. And um, I use this um, year after year, the 1000 Journals Project. It started um, about a decade ago. And a guy in California bought 1000 journals, basically, and um, passed them out to friends and artists who then passed them out to friends and artists. And it became this really contagious um, project that um, traveled across the world. So um, we had used journals in the classroom before. We had passed around journals in the classroom before. But the idea of being able to pass them directly to the school in Oberhausen, Germany, that had all these similar similarities to, to us was, was just really um, wonderful. So um, we started um, my advanced art class, which at the time I had 13 amazing students, a couple of whom are here tonight. and. Um, we started with 13 because that was the number of students we had. They started in Germany with 20. And um, the idea was uh, that we would be passing these things back and forth. And um, I didn't go at it alone. We had a, um, oh, did I do that? How far did I go? Okay, okay I'm going to hit the down button, not touch that. Okay. Um, so we started with the 13 and the 20 in Oberhausen, and we knew we were going to be passing them back and forth. I didn't do it alone. Um, Lisa Bevington, who is one of our language arts teachers, um, she had a creative writing class at the time, and so I just threw it out there. I thought, why not pair the art, the visual art, which was what my class was um, involved in, with writing. So she was really excited. She had um, over 20 students in her class. They worked collaboratively, and on the top left, that's a photograph of us working in Greensburg. Uh, both of the classes combined, and on the bottom right is um, some photographs of the students in Germany. And um, it just was a contagious and wonderful thing. Um, students really expressed themselves. Uh, they wrote um, sort of letters back and forth to each other. Some students got really personal and kind of um, did almost like diary entries and explained about themselves and their past. This student um, actually talked about where her mother works, which was a former steel mill. Um, Mr. Beck, who's one of our English teachers, Lisa had a great idea. Um, she said, why keep this to ourselves? You know, once it started, it was really contagious and, you know, students were coming up to us and asking to get involved. So she said, why don't we throw this out to other teachers? So we did. We sent out an email and um, uh, this was a, an English class, a ninth grade English class. They were studying Shakespeare. So he just took the journals into the classroom and said, you know, interpret um, visually these lines from these Shakespeare, um, Shakespeare uh, poetry. Um, Mrs. Redinger, who is one of our science teachers, had her biology class do some amazing things. This is one of the entries that was created by one of her students, and this is another. And, um, and that's another one from her, from her class. So we got really wonderful things. And it was really good for, for me, too, because it got art into the school in a way that, you know, it's, it's, it's a challenge at the high school level. It's an elective. Not every kid has to take art. Um, so it really helped kind of promote our program. Um, and then at the same time, in Germany, and this is one of the German students' entries, um, the students over there were doing the very same thing, and we found all of these connections and all of these similarities in what they were creating and what our students were creating. And this is another entry from a student in Germany. 